All right, today I'm going to talk about Thep. That is a new rig that I just posted on Animation Buffet, but you can get this at Squiggly Rigs. And if you click here, you get your download options. You can get more if you want to buy more. But if you just want to know more, you can go into the rig shop and you can go down here. That's where I was. You can click here and it gives you a bit of a overview in terms of details, a little demo in terms of what is going on with this rig. So when you open it up in Maya, this is what you get. This is your rig with cute textures there. And right off the bat, I think it would be really cool. I mean, the textures will be gone for the eyes there, but you could assign a different color to your character and then it just becomes a very versatile, interesting, cartoony rig for basic animation. You might even add a bit of a nose there if you wanted to. But if you do add the textures, you can see it's a cute little mummy. Now, right off the bat, I don't know why I go to the legs. Probably I should not, but you got your main controllers here. All the classic stuff for your feet. But as you can see, there is a lot more. Where you have your switcher here, IKFK switch. Then on the side here, you got your separate controllers for foot control. Then on here, you have controls on the back for ooh, rotation like that. On here, you have just the back side and for a foot roll. So when you go on here, usually you have channels for foot roll, but this is all done through controllers here. And then here you would have that, which is cool if you know dance pose. And then up front, you have your toe up and down. Up here, you have an IK toe up and down, which is cool. Up here, you have a bit of a squishiness, which let's see, can we scale? We can, if you so desire. And I think that's that for the foot, at least at this point here. You got your classic Benbows and no scale. That's fine too. I was kind of checking, but you got a big amount of control in terms of how you can uh, change up the look of this, which is always pretty cool. All the way up to here. That's your left IK hip control. Let's go all the way back here and bring it back to normal. Then you got your knee controls. You got pole vector for knees. So as you go up somewhere else in my craziness here, you would take that and move it around. This is all through this controller. There's nothing in the channel as I can see for those who might potentially prefer that. And then you have your hips pivoting off here. Now, looking at this, I don't see anything. I don't see why I would have to go in here. But as you take your hips, I mean, there is an immediate squash and stretchiness, which is awesome. Now, if you just control this, it's going to influence your spine as well. So I took a peek around so that you don't have to watch me. But I was trying to find an extra controller where you can turn this off, meaning that if you move the hips, that just the hips are moving around and not influencing um, the chest. If I do this, this is your root. Not as smooth as I was hoping it to be, but that's fine. But again, I don't see anything here. Even if you go to the master controller, I don't see any options. I must be missing something. As always, feel free, anybody who watches this, to add something to this. But I'm trying to find options to turn this off, to turn the stretchiness off, or do change this so it does not affect um, the the spine. So that's a bit of a bummer. Again, I'm not seeing this here, and I'm doing this as always as kind of like a first look on the rig. There's always something that I will probably miss, and I will do some more research. And as always, post in the comments any updates that I see. But I like doing my first kind of views on rigs to see if it's something. Uh, intuitive or not, I consider myself like a total idiot when it comes to rigs like that. <laughs> I can bring this down. It's interesting to see that when you do your your chest control here, it doesn't influence the rest of the arms. That's cool. So this would be your IKFK switch. Let's go back to IK here, and you got all your controls with stretchiness, which is always interesting to see. 
you have your smear control, which is very cool. I do like that a lot. Um, you have all your finger controls. And on here, this is your overall hand control and not per finger. You have separate scale. If you want to do that, you got, oh, you got immediate built in poses for quick blocking is interesting. I like that actually tightening all that and also quick rotations if you need to but you can always of course do this with those controls that's cool actually i like that a lot same thing here on your bend bows everything is bending accordingly and then you can still move your ik hands actually that's worth noting here that as you move your ik arm the wrist stays put in terms of rotations i'm always a bigger fan that if you do this that you would have an automatic alignment with the forearm but i would say almost every rig does not do that i'm just used to this from work and then you can always constrain this an orient constraint if you want to keep your rotation but i was kind of bummed that rigs don't have that going back to fk you will see that the bembo stay put which is always good to know i don't see any other options here ah oh, you have a follow chest on these it's on this controller here so if i do that i have this here that nothing here it's the bigger controller here yeah follows the chest cool i like that you have that option on an fk arm but again i'm not seeing anything extra which is it's a little bit odd i must be missing something in terms of body options i don't see it here there's nothing in the layers where you can potentially add different things to it in terms of um you know there's the squishiness and the squash like i'm a big fan that it does this automatically i'm just, would love to see a way to change this what is this here you got your scapula all right and that is translate and rotate which is always cool and here is your chest control where you have that and again because it's on on the other side you can see there's a arm follow you also have volume which i don't think would affect the squishiness where's my chest control I'm trying to make this without zooming in here you are no no influence there all right just checking just checking then go down here that is your head so you have it must be this one here all right so this is kind of your lower neck upper neck where you know i see stuff here but there's nothing where is it back there headspace there you go neck world still does that and then we have if you change anything on this ooh, what is this interesting is that a feature headspace world neck that should not be a feature where it detaches unless Again, there's something that I'm missing. As always, this is kind of like a first look. If you're completely new to this rig, what is this? Um, well, let me go to the other ones later on. So this is again, your overall head that you can take off and detach, which is kind of cute. You have here a forehead. It's kind of interesting. It doesn't replicate the textures, but if you want to take the textures off, do something where you have something of a forehead, almost brow option. It's interesting still kind of confused about that neck and world option there that might be slightly a bug i am also looking for a world object local and so on option here um, as you do this i would like that head to not be ik-ish in terms of having the same uh, rotation i was a fan of options again i might be missing something but as of now just looking at this i'm not seeing this what i do see here what is that Ooh, that is your squash options taking the eyes as well with it which is kind of cool mainly on translates there it's kind of cool i like that this should probably be the jaw Ooh, this is a lip a lip option that you can also pull that is definitely good interesting so what is what here that is more squashiness back there that's what we saw here that must be the middle squashiness and that is it's a technical term 
squashiness definitely through here i'm assuming this will do it as well very cool definitely a lot of options on the eyes and you probably have an overall can i select this yes overall eyebrow control with individual fairly flexible there eyebrow control what is this must be oh you want horns something bigger if you so desire as always i see a controller here that must be the top squash and stretch <clears throat> no scale no rotate all makes sense that is translate only very cool i think this i did already nope that is the jaw i was looking for the jaw control ah which is cool so you got that just checking Ooh, there is no there is no translate so would you do this with that no nope, that was the head one and is that maybe on the lower well, i guess not i was curious sometimes on jaw controls you have also uh translates but i guess you would do that with that but then the teeth don't follow so you would have to compensate with this what is this that's the overall interesting that also takes the tongue interesting so there's a lot of customization maybe some of the things i would have expected to be slightly different you do have shapes here just quickly i'm always a fan just for quick blocking things out you have hold on let's bring this up just a bit more that is the wrong one this guy so looks like cheek and that must be upper cheek that's lower eye you have more squishiness here in terms of movements that's all cool you got overall interesting overall oh there's a limit too okay i can't go fully in so overall cheek uh what's called mouth corner that do take the teeth and i'm assuming here is just the shapes with all kinds of details cool you do have upper teeth control yes you do that is the whole thing you do have scale if you want to and of course everything down here to move this out however you want if i do this and take this yes it does all of that and there is actually a tooth change let me see hold on before we go there you have eyes of course like that and individually which is cool nice on the scale you can do your pupil changes you have oh visibility cool so again if you want to make this a different um you got opening and closing a different more regular rate that's not a mummy you can take all those options away and probably also go in there and change the uh the colors of it and then you have also evil eyes oh here's the follow head oh interesting so but that's for the eyes huh yeah yeah interesting you do have rotations oh so you do want to change rotations to some degree here so still more options changing those eyes and i was looking for are the teeth so if you go here i don't see it here these are inputs and tweaks i don't see it here so let me pause and search all right so i did find it, it took me a little bit but it might be interesting to maybe have that on the tooth control and maybe not on on this i mean it is on the jaw so it's not that confusing i'm just not that smart i guess so you got your evil evil ones here so the same thing if you want to do evil and evil you do have that other than that i think that's pretty much it you got your squid uh, squash and stretch everywhere here you got your tongue controls i saw everything here you got your sight squash and stretch definitely a lot of options i'm definitely a fan of all those quick pose options um and there i say i am clearly this is not it i mean this was this i'm still slightly confused these are your outputs here um being able to change this i don't see anything here i guess you would have to compensate and counter which i'm not a big fan of 
So I'm totally breaking the rig at this point, but I was just kind of looking. And again, if anybody knows this, let me know in the comments as I'm doing kind of a first time blind rig overview. Now, that being said, when you open the scene here, you have multiples and you can go in there and you can reference that in. I'm just going to open it up separately. Beep. So you got your separate arms and this goes all the way back to eyes and heads. So you can bring in multiples if you want to for all kinds of things, which you actually see in here. So that's the only thing I didn't um, look at as well as the extra cloth string with M gear spring system. I did not look at that. I'm going to check that out on my own, but just be advised that is available. Other than that, it also does say when I go back here that you have a detachable head with space switcher. So that is a feature just in case. So go on there on the squeaky set. You got all the details here as well. Other than that, this was my first overview. It's kind of creepy just ahead here. Let me bring back the actual rig for no reason and just leaving it like that. There you go. So that was my look, kind of first time look for this rig. Comments are open if you have used this rig as well and you have other things that you want to talk about that I missed that I should mention in the comments or that other people want to see as you comment. So again, comments are open and that is it. I will leave it at that. Thank you for watching.